All right, I'm sitting here with Frank. How you doing, Frank? I'm good. All right, you just want to tell me a little bit about yourself, like where you're from, how old you are, stuff like that? I'm 51. I'm from South Philadelphia. Uh, well, not correct that. I'm from East Fall, Roxborough, Manayunk. Migrated to South Philly for a couple years. Lived in Jersey for a couple years. And then moved back to... Roxboro. Okay. When I was like 18, 19. Uh, my first use of heroin was at the age of 19. And, yeah. So yeah. Roxboro, that's my neighborhood. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I, I, I left there when I got, I got left the city when I got clean. So, so you were on, you did the original H, the brown dope. Oh, yeah. All right. And did you notice the changeover? when the fentanyl started coming in? Uh, yeah, I, I, I noticed all the people from that were doing methadone. Yeah. You know, I would be at the L hanging out and people would be like, yo, I need the fentanyl. You know, they, they, didn't, they didn't know where to go. So uh, I would always just take them to the dope spot and say, yeah, it's fentanyl, because I wanted the dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then, uh, then I shot some fentanyl and when I came up from jail. Mm-hmm. And I would be and so you OD'd? Yeah, yeah. And I haven't stopped since. Wow. Now, do you do you enjoy the fentanyl more than the original age? Oh, yeah. So you like it better? Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Wow. And what, what, what's your do you like the xylazine, the trank? Do you like that feeling? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Really? Wow. Yeah. I, the reason I ask is like I, I left here in 2016. I just missed the fentanyl and the, the trank. So it's like the only two drugs on this plane that I've never tried. Yeah. So I'm cu- not curious enough to try, but curious to see. I always ask what they like better. A lot of people are saying they like this stuff better than the regular H. Oh, yeah. Which is wild. Because you get a lot more. Uh, it's cheaper and... You really get an eye off of it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think you guys nod hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you can, you know, you know, fight the trank. Yeah. You know, you rock out into a nod. You just wow. got to stand up shooting it and try your best not to lay down. Wow. So it's like a, it's like a, um, a fight. This, uh, yeah, the nod. The nod, uh, the nod. Wow. It's not. You sleep. Yeah. You, know, you sleep. You wake up fucking three hours later. And you're and and uh, the withdrawal comes in a lot faster yeah, the with this stuff, right? I was just recently locked up two months ago and on a warrant. They came to my mother's house and they were locking me up. I had tucked five bags to get through the receiving part. And this would be this was my first time ever withdrawing from it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing it for years, but I never had to go through a withdrawal. And my body just kept shaking and shaking and shaking. And like day three. They were like, you know, you, you, your subs are here for you. You know, you can go down to education. And I remember... This know, is in jail you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. Running down the hall to go to education. And they were like, education's that way. And I was like, fuck that. I'm going to medical. Right? Mm-hmm. I went to medical and I was like, yo, something's really wrong with me. Yeah. My blood pressure's all fucked up. You got to get me to the hospital. And, you know, I, I fell and... Yeah, I, I guess... They called the paramedics, took yeah. me to the hospital, and when I woke up, like, two days later, I was like, ah, oh, what the fuck, you know, you, my, my ribs are broke, and they were like, we had to uh, bring you back. Yeah, oh, and, wow. Yeah, you died. So that was really fucking traumatic for me, man. I was like, whoa, I fucking died. What's wrong? From the withdrawal? Yeah. Holy so, crap. Yeah, that was deep for me. That my is- sister had me locked up. Yeah, she's trying to save my life. Right. She almost took my life. I feel like. Wow. And so your 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 heart literally stopped. It stopped. Yeah. From withdrawal. Yeah, and then I had real high blood pressure the whole time, and I always had good good blood pressure, one eighty over twenty one. I think right. it's like good, right? Yeah, I always had good blood pressure, man. So, yeah. That is so wild. Yeah, and I lost the use of my leg. I can't use it anymore. I got a, a fasciotomy. You I know what that is? No. It's cut from the knee all the way down to the ankle, and they fillet it open uh-huh. to drain it. Oh, okay. And so what, you can't feel it now? No feeling? No, it's it's. Uh, it won't bend past, you know, that. Uh, okay. I have to walk on my tippy toe. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And what was that from? That was from... 
banging my knee on a kitchen cabinet while I was in Ohio. Oh, okay. I banged it and it swelled up and some girl I know was just talking to me. I said something to her and she hit me with the catheter, you know, just messing around. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I think that was the kicker and swelled up and my housing people came and they were like, yo, you gotta go to the hospital for that, it's bad. And I went to Nashville Hospital, did a, a fasciotomy and yeah, they just, it was, it was, I was literally flayed. My, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Things like that. And that would just to drain it? Yeah, and then it shows three up top, three in the bottom. You just let it drain. But I signed out. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so I never got the skin graft. Now my, this is all healed up. So my leg only goes like, you know, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, are you, do you deal with uh, open sores? With nah, this stuff? we haven't had that big. Like this See, right like here. Even your hands aren't even that bad at all. Yeah. I really haven't had that problem. It seems like everybody down here has a sore of some kind. Yeah. Like 85% of the people, something like that. That's good you're not dealing with them. Now, have, have, do you have any thoughts or any um, desire to get clean? Are you okay doing what you're doing right now? Yeah, I have. Mm, I'm okay because I'm, I'm with a friend. Yeah, I don't want nothing to happen to her. Yeah, that's a girl I'm going to be interviewing next? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were in a relationship at one time, but we found out we're better off as friends. Friends, yeah. 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 She's a lot younger. Yeah, she's yeah. an attractive girl, too. She's very attractive. Yeah. Very attractive, but she's got her issues, too. Yeah. And, yeah, I... You know, if she goes in, I'll, I'll go away. Right. It's like yeah. that codependency type thing going on. Or, yeah, you know? but I can never see myself leaving her out here. Yeah. And no, I get that, man. It's That's probably the only person that's, uh, you know, you really care about in your life right now. You know, the yeah, only person and, you can, and my daughter. I care but, about my daughter. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, I, being down here on a daily basis, that's probably the only person you can, like, you know, yeah. lean on. And it's good to have someone down here. I, I get why you don't want to, to, uh, to leave her down here. Now, do you... Do you know where to go um, if you do want to get help? Yeah. All right. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So you do, yeah, that's what's that called? The hub or not the hub? I found American. That. Yeah, that's right. Um, do you have a couple more questions? Let you go. Do you have um, safe somewhere safe to sleep at night down here? Or are nah, you just we not? were sleeping right here in a tent. Okay. And somebody, the cops saw us pack it up, and then. Next day, we set up at night, and they came, and they seen a couple works, you know, on Captain there, and they said it's a hazardous sanitation's coming to take the tent. Ah, oh, damn. All right. So if anybody's got a tent and can donate it, that'd be great. That's why I was asking. No, because a lot of times people will send stuff. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, so a tent, tent. All right. A couple sleeping bags. All right. Good to go. I just put, I have an Amazon wish list, uh, and I just put tents on there, so maybe people watching will, will send it. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. All right. Anything else clothes-wise? What, what size are you? Uh, I used to be a 38, but now I'm, uh, I'm about 32. Uh, no, uh, 20s. Eight. 28 waist? Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, yeah. And that's... 30 to tall. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, I really appreciate you taking the time to do this. I appreciate I, you. A lot of the uh, a lot of the channels don't interview enough guys, and I like to interview guys. I, I have a lot more in common. I relate yeah. to them, and I think it's just important to talk to you. Because, I mean, for girls, it's I'm not saying easier, but they have a, 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 a way to get money fast down here. Yeah, I feel like that guy, they got ulterior motives just doing girls. Yeah, <laughs> well, 100%. But, like, yeah. for you as a, as a guy, it's a lot, it could be a lot harder for you to get your money down here. Yeah. Like, what, what do you even do? You either panhandling or scrapping? Right now, I got my pills. Okay, so you just uh, you hustle use, them. Hustle man. them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if anybody sees the breadwinner, mm. yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, in, no, in my 20s, you no, know, yeah. I did what I had to do. Sure. She ain't the only, you know, she ain't the only one that tricked. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, men trick too. Absolutely, I, I, I get it. I mean, it's a, yeah. it's not, a, it's not an easy life living out here. Yeah, but I got old. Yeah. Oh, so you, so you did do, you do tricking back in the day. 
Yeah, you know I, I did my shit, yeah. Okay. What would you do? Was it with guys, or is that how... Yeah, I did what I had to do. To yeah, guys. yeah, no, I no judgment. I just don't care. I, like, yeah. I love hearing stories like that, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. Hey... You, you, I trick all through my 20s, all through my 30s. Okay. And, and I'm no good at stealing and shit. Yeah. But I'm still my man. I know I love women. I know I'm interested in women. Like Absolutely. I, no craving for no dude. Right. You just got to <laughs> get that money. Yeah, yeah. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I mean, shit, a lot. But when I was down here, run, um, it would have been a lot easier, I think, if I would have went that route. I was yeah. a knucklehead. I have too much pride, you know? Yeah. If so, I can still do it, man, and it will keep her from doing it, I'd do it, bro. Yeah. I hate every time she jumps in the car, I think she's not coming back. Bro. Yeah, I mean, listen, and, and especially with how bad they nod out on this trank, that's the scary part, getting in the cars. Yeah, uh, this girl's got me so worried. Yeah, uh, I, I, I care get for it. Like that. Her, mom and, her mom and dad just want her to come home, and people's got, you yeah. know, bread. They're good people. Yeah. And they look at me like I'm the devil. I got it right here. I ain't got it right here. If anything, she got me out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Well, one more quick question about you. I'm just... This is... I'm so fascinated. Now, did you... Did you have to, like... Uh, did you cross-dress when you were doing a trick? Or no. Just go out? I'm just, no. I'm just curious how people... No. Okay. No, no. I just, yeah. I had thir uh, 13th in Spruce or 16th in Spruce. Oh, down the neighborhood. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, interesting. Right, right, right. Wow. You know, they did me, uh, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what yeah. gave my entry. They want to blow you. Yeah, yeah. But oh. You know, I sit back, fantasize about a chick. Wow. Bang. Oh, so. I ain't getting fucked or Right, right, right. So yeah. a, lot of the, a lot of the tricks, would they just want to give you oral sex. Yeah. That's what gave you one to. Wow. That is fascinating. Yeah, I got nothing against gay people. No. But, you know, I took one trick and I made them my doors pop up. Yeah, I know him for 30 years. It, mm -hmm. it, it was beyond the tricking and all that shit. We became friends. And when I had my daughter, me and my dad don't get along that good. And this guy had money, so I asked him to be my daughter's pop up. Okay. He did, but he just recently died. Uh, he was smoking crack. And okay. he was, you know, the wrong pipe with fentanyl. And oh my God. Check. That is so crazy that that happens down here. Yeah. Right. I mean, he wasn't a crackhead, don't. You know I mean? No, but, but he he liked people he, like to get high. He was on Adderall. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And yeah. So he 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 bought a party one night, got some crack, or yeah. used the wrong pipe because it had fentanyl in it, and that's how he passed away. Man, that is crazy. Sorry to hear about that. Yeah. All right, man. This is a fascinating conversation. Thank you so much for doing this. And All if right. I see you in the future, can we uh, can I keep keep up with you, yeah. interview and talk to you? Please send a tent. All right. Well, no, no. <laughs> give me a couple of days. So you know what I mean. Right. A week or so. We'll get you a tent, though. All right. Cool. All right.